Hi everyone! In this video, we will show you how to sign up, sign in, new user via Firebase API by using FMX Delphi app. Also, we will show you how to reset user's forgotten password by using our FMX Delphi app. Today, there are many different apps, mobile apps, web apps, etc., that utilize remote databases to store different kinds of data, for example, patients' data in clinic, online store users' data, etc. Traditional relational or document-oriented NoSQL databases to store data can be used. While working with databases, need of access control arises. So, use the sign up, sign in and get access only to required data. At the same time, current user has no access to other user's data. Thus, current user doesn't interact with other user and their data in common database. Modern databases and services support user sign up and sign in features. We will show you capabilities of multifunctional service Firebase sign up, sign in, new user via SAPI. To sign up new user, we will use email and password Firebase authentication feature. Firebase authentication features are well documented and presented as Firebase House REST API. To use Firebase authentication feature, we will create or add new project Firebase. Just go to console and create new project if you have no project yet, or click add if you have at least one project. Here just type a name of our project. Then click continue. Here we can select enable Google Analytics for this project. It's optional. Just click continue. Here select an account, default account for Firebase. Just create project. Creation project is running. Just click continue. Our project created successfully. To enable Firebase authentication feature, go to authentication. Click get started. And select sign in method. We select email and password. Select enable and click save. So, Firebase authentication is enabled and we will be able to sign up and sign in new user. So, we also need to copy and save web API key to use it in our Delphi FMX app. Just go to project overview, project settings, just select, copy, and save our web API key for our Delphi FMX app. As an example, we will sign up and then sign in new user by using our Delphi FMX app and Firebase REST API. Also, we will reset user's password. To work fine with Firebase API, we develop a special class to Firebase Auth. This class hides difficulties while working with Firebase API. The Firebase House class constructor takes the net HTTP client class object and string constant API key as input parameters. This constant contains web API key. So sign up with email and password method takes two parameters, email and password. This method allows us to sign up new user. Such data as email and password can be transmitted by using POST request and Firebase services URL API command.
this API command. Sign in with email and password method takes the same parameters, email and password. And we have corresponding URL. Reset password method takes user's email as input parameter. We also have corresponding URL. Parse.json for result function allows us to parse JSON response from Firebase. This function returns string value. If signing is successful, it returns a mail. Otherwise, returns error. Format JSON function allows us to show JSON response in fine and readable form. To work with Firebase API by using POST request in our Delphi VMix app, we will use CNET HTTP client component from components palette itemnet. To type email and password in our app, we will use the edit component. To show JSON response from Firebase service, we will use the memo component. Sign up, sign in, reset password features are implemented in button on click handles. We will use the button component. In our sign up button on click handler, we declare Firebase auth object, iFirebase auth type, to work with Firebase servers and string variable JSON answer to store JSON response from Firebase. Then we call the Firebase auth constructor. We pass our NetHttp client object to NetHttp class and fwebapi key field. Field fwebappkey contains our previously saved webappkey from Firebase project. In our form 1 on create method, we will assign webappkey value to our fwebappkey field. Just copy. Go to on create method. and paste our web API key. Also, we call sign up with email and password method with string input values of email and password from the edit fields. To assign JSON response from Firebase to memo text property, we will use the set synchronize method. So, to get sign up success information, we will use parse JSON for result method. This method takes our JSON response from Firebase and returns email if successful and error if account already exists.
So let's run our app and test user sign up feature. Here we will see all new users. Let's type our email. Here type our password. Let's create our new user. So account created successfully. Let's check it. Let's reload our web page. And we just see our new user. So let's sign up our user again. We have an error. To sign in our user, we will use sign in with the mail and password method. In case of wrong email and password, we will show error message. If success, we will show welcome form with user's email. Our user's email, our welcome form. So let's test our user sign in feature. Just run our Delphi FMX app. Just type our user's email and our user's password. Type user's password. Just test our sign in feature. So we have successfully signed in our user. Just type wrong password. And test our sign-in feature. So we have an error. So let's consider user's password reset feature by using Firebase app in our Delphi FMX app. So we will use reset password method with user's email as input parameter. Let's run our app and try to reset user's password. Type our user's email.
enter a set password. So we received a mail and here we can easily reset user's forgotten password. Here we can type new password. And then click save. 